Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And thank you so much for joining me today for another video. In this week's sketchbook video, you're gonna see me work on a couple of different studies of pen and ink birds. I think I've drawn a bird using pen and ink once before these two drawings, and it was kind of a funny hen that I drew for Inktober last year. And I really wanted to push myself to create the illusion of feathers using mark making. So right here, you're watching me create my preliminary pencil sketch using my HB pencil, which is the pencil grade that I personally like starting my drawings with. I am using a couple of reference pictures of two different birds. I wanted to do one of a close-up and one from further away. And I found these two beautiful reference photos in, I believe it was pexels.com or pixabay.com. One of those two awesome free high resolution reference photo resource sites. And of course, I made sure before starting with my inking that my preliminary pencil sketch showed good proportions and overall shapes and all of that before going in with my permanent medium. As many of you who have been watching my latest videos probably already know, I am really trying to improve my drawing skills with this medium. I am working on laying down my marks a lot more deliberately and just doing my best not to go overboard. Um, being a lot more delicate and refined and just trying to keep my mind in the process. I feel this is so, so important, especially when we're working with something as permanent as ink, um, in which if we make a mistake, we basically have to embrace it as part of our artwork or see how we turn it into something that looks less like a mistake. I really feel that when it comes to drawing with pen and ink, I'm still at this phase at which I have to really think about what I am doing um, because it still doesn't come completely naturally to me just yet, especially uh, certain types of subjects like animals. So as I am laying down these marks, I'm really giving thought to what kind of mark making really would help emphasize that particular area that I am trying to start developing texture or different values in. I'm thinking about whether to use more like curved contour lines or hatching or cross hatching or scribbling, etc. And I'm also really taking a moment to observe my reference pictures in order to see what direction that curve of that feather or those little hairs that um, are poking out here and there in these birds are going in. And I'm trying to respect that general shape and direction and laying down my marks in a way that can really help describe those characteristics that I'm actually seeing in these reference pictures. And at the same time, I am not obsessing about adding in every single little detail that I see in my reference pictures or trying to replicate every single feather bit by bit. Birds are such interesting creatures. I'm really inspired by them. I love the symbolism that birds can have. And I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Let me know if you have a favorite bird and why this is. All right, you guys, I'm gonna leave you to enjoy the rest of this drawing time lapse. I'm going to be leaving a couple of links to videos that I created on pen and ink and specific tutorials on alternative shading techniques that could be useful for you guys in case you're just getting started with this drawing medium. Those are going to be left for you down below in the description box in case you're interested in checking them out. Links to the different drawing supplies that I used to create this piece will also be left down below for you in the description box. And before leaving you, I want to send out a huge welcome to all of you new people who are just visiting my YouTube channel for the very first time. I am super happy you're here and do consider subscribing because I share new videos every single week on drawing and painting tutorials, art tips, and encouragement for aspiring artists. I would absolutely love to have you here and become part of this growing art community. Thank you.
right, my friends, that is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this sketchbook video. I hope that it inspired you to go and fill up some sketchbook pages of your own. Thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And hey, if you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. I'm gonna leave you a couple of cool videos right here that you can check out next. Don't forget to subscribe and talk to you soon.